All right, these are all the IC chips from Dell 2848 switches. Um, it's not a lot, it's a small, it's gonna be a small run, but um, <clears throat> I wanted to see how many grams of gold I could get out of two Dell switches. It's not even gonna be one gram, but um, I wanna be able to, to see whether it's worth <clears throat> scrapping these switches or trying to sell the switches online. Switches are going for about $47 a piece, um, plus uh, with free shipping. So, you know, if I get anything more than $25, $30 worth of gold, it'll be worth more to scrap it than it will be to sell it online. Here we have the, the tumbled chips from the Dell 2848 switches. I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly because there's a bunch of street noise going on over here. If I can filter that out, I will. If I can't, it's just gonna have to be in the background, sorry. No other choice if I wanna make any progress today. Stainless steel balls. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to classify these. It's only the, the black chips from two switches. So there's not really a whole lot here. This is gonna be a super small batch, primarily just to see if it's worth processing these or if I should let them go super cheap on eBay. They've been on eBay now for two months and nobody has bought them yet at the price that Seems like everybody is trying to sell them for. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a quick tap. Looks like almost everything has fallen through the primary mesh. So I'll pull this off. Not much in there. Street noise is getting louder. Sorry about that. I think they're installing fiber optics or something. I'll we'll just give this a shake and we're going to get all that dust out of there. Everything that's left in here will go into a into the gravity separation. I will wet it down. to get all the gold off of it. Okay, again, these chips have been pyrolyzed. And I will rerun this ash. All right, um, I'm gonna dump all the metal parts from here into one of my no longer used kitchen measuring cups. I will wash all the dust off in case there's any gold lingering on to any of those pieces and any pieces in here. I will wash that off into the same cup. Just into an, in an effort to minimize any loss. All right, I can see already there's lots of little pieces of metal in there, so I'm going to 
do a magnetic separation. Make sure these balls get cleared off. Oh, that's great. The noise in the background is just getting louder. I apologize for that. Hopefully I can clear that up. All right. Oh wow, that looks like an awful lot of copper. magnetic in there compared to what I see physically like you see all those little strands right there so I'm gonna drop this off shake small distance so I can separate out the most dust that I can. Alright, wow. That's going to be interesting. Okay, the rest of this is now bound for incineration in a stainless steel pan on a very hot stove. Here is my second go. I'm gonna turn all these into white ash. I dumped this, the, the, the paralyzed chips in here. You can see they're already starting to turn white. Mix these ashes up. They are looking really good. chips look pretty good pretty much white ash all right I'm gonna put it in this speaker and then we're gonna do a gravity separation on it you either boil it a lot in hydrochloric acid before or after you dissolve it in aqua regia. Either way, that's gold. that gold's looking pretty good in there so far. Alright, just a few milliliters of nitric should do it. Alright, here we go. So now we got um, some nitric and some uh, hydrochloric acid in there. I'm going to heat that up and just let it dissolve. Alright, this has been on here for Let's add some sulfamic acid to it. And add some additional water to it. And then we'll 
let it cool down. And we'll filter it later on. This is my gold drop from overnight. I'm going to filter this liquid into another container this size and then I'm going to turn on the heat to it and I'm going to evaporate a lot of that away and see if I can squeeze any more gold out of this. But this seems to be too much to me so I will uh, boil this in hydrochloric acid again see if I can boil off some of that some of those impurities, whatever they may be. All right, here's my gold that I've poured into this small little beaker. And that's just water. I'm, I'm gonna boil that in water for, I don't know, maybe an hour. And then I will boil it in hydrochloric acid and clean it up as much as I can. All right, here's the first water boil. It's been boiling for a couple hours. Remember, this is definitely a small, small batch amount. All right, this is boiling for a little bit. I see absolutely zero color into the hydrochloric acid, but I am restricting the oxygen to it also. So I will remove that cover plate and I'll let that cook for a little bit with absolutely no color showing up in that gold in the hydrochloric acid boil. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and consider that done. And I'm going to dump that hydrochloric acid out. I'm gonna give it a hot water wash and then I'm gonna put it in here. All right, here's a little gold down there. When I tap it, it goes from the sides. It just runs right down to the bottom. Um, so it's actually looking pretty good. This is the fourth water rinse. Okay, today is April 12th, and I just made myself a new crucible. Well, the crucible's made already. I just glazed my new crucible. So I'm gonna go get some gold going right now. 